Hi guys, welcome back and hello from stunning Barangaroo here in Sydney Harbour. It's a great waterfront destination for some drinks, for some fun, for some dinner. Um, so I thought I'd just take some chill out time myself and just do a texting video. I had some emails in the week from guys asking about when they should text a girl after the first date and what to text after the first date. Uh, so we'll be diving down my phone and going through an example. I'll be showing you exactly what I do. Um, if you like the video at any point, then please do hit that like button and subscribe to the channel as well. And especially if you've seen some of my other texting videos. But uh, yeah, let's get to it. Okay, so when to text a girl after the first date? Well, the first thing you could do if you want to be a nice guy is you could message her pretty shortly after the date and just say, text me when you get home safe. Just shows you're caring. Um, and most women will actually text you and say, hey, I've got back safe. You know, thanks for a great night. Uh, so that's something you could do. I'll leave that down to you. Um, but whether you do that or not, when I text a girl, um, if it's gone really well and there's this like really good building relationship going on, it would typically be minimum 12 hours after that date. So the following morning. That is only if, you know, it's going really, really well and I can tell she's into me and, and, and the date was, you know, a real cracker. If I just want to play it a bit cooler, then I might message her the following lunchtime or wait 24 hours uh, until the following evening. The longer you wait, obviously that does create tension. It does create a, a sense of wonder in her mind about, is this guy into me? Is he gonna text me? Um, and often her resolve can break before yours and she'll come forward and message you, which is great because it shows how interested she is. Um, and also, you know, just a good boost for you um, in, your, in your day. So um, yeah, minimum 12 hours. Um, but yeah, typically the following day, lunchtime, or, or even 24 hours later. Okay, so in terms of what to text, um, what I do is I use my texting ladder process, uh, and this is for all of my texting conversations. Um, so hopefully you have seen one of my other videos. Uh, I'll put a link up above and down below what is this texting ladder process. It's a five-step process where you logically and naturally go from getting a number to going on a date. And once you've been on that date, you go back to the bottom of this process, uh, step two on this texting ladder, and then you climb back up. Um, so it's literally just the same. I'm using this process for all of my texting conversations. Uh, so when I'm going on a second date, trying to arrange that, going on a third date, fourth date, whatever it is, I'm just using this texting ladder. Now, as I'm already gone up the texting ladder for the first date, I'm going up the texting ladder again. But what I'm doing is I'm going up it slightly differently. So I'm just using different styles of message, uh, pictures, audios, whatever I didn't do the first time, I'm gonna do for this time. Okay, so let's have a look at an example and uh, split screen so you can see what's going on. Um, so with this girl, um, we had the first date and then where you can see I've written great, that's just me acknowledging that she got home safe okay. And then, uh, yeah, as you can see, it's morning now. So uh, I'm just writing, I just got back from beach class. Hope you have a nice time with your sister. So on the texting ladder, this is step two build up, okay? So we've had the date, so I'm just gonna build up the conversation like really nicely and just take my time. But I do have an eye on that second date, okay? That is my aim, that's what I wanna secure. Um, but yeah, we're basically just gonna have a bit of chit chat. So scrolling down, she's sending photos, which is like really like good investment. Um, so I'm just like writing a few things back, you know, haha, beautiful, etc. Um, and then, yeah, a really good sign actually, just pointing this out, is um, it's coming up to night time. Thanks. She's writing thanks. It's my nephew. I miss him so much. And then I don't reply because I'm busy. And then five hours later, she just pings me again. Hi. Good night, David. Okay. So it just shows that, yeah, she's really, really keen. And it, this is really great intel for me. Um, I can tell she's interested. Um, so it's just it's just a good observation, okay? Uh, and also makes me feel that, you know, we're, we're gonna be getting a second date. So scrolling down, um, she then starts the next day again texting me, so this is great. Um, so we're still at step two build up. I'm just kind of going along with it, uh, being quite minimalistic. You'll note that I'm not asking questions. Um, I'm just, yeah, just chit chatting, okay? Um, so we'll just keep scrolling down. And then um, I'm asking, what are your plans today? 
this this isn't um, a step three date feeler on the texting ladder. I'm still at step two build up. I'm just kind of going with the flow. Okay, so step two build up, definitely done. So now I'm going for step three, the date feeler. So I'm suggesting, I'm feeling out for that date. So as you can see here, um, so I'm putting, so what are your plans Saturday? Um, so she replies, sends me another photo. Uh, no plans yet, you. Okay, so that's great. So she's showing availability. And then um, step four, I'm now at step four, the date request. So I'm asking uh, for Saturday, I was thinking of cooking a dinner, but in the daytime and enjoying a nice afternoon. Okay, so that's basically come around to mine, I'll cook a dinner, we'll have some wine uh, and chill. And then yeah, I'm asking her, can you do? Uh, so she writes, hi, sounds great. It would be nice, it'd be a nice weekend together. So this is great, okay, so she's just agreed to that, which is fantastic. So now I need to go to step five, which is date logistics, which is the specifics of the time, the meeting location, um, and the day which we've already agreed. So uh, wait till the following morning, and then um, I'm asking, is there anything you don't eat? Any food allergies? Uh, she says she doesn't eat pork, no allergies, so that's good. Um, and then just more of a, a bit of a chit chat. So again, I'm going with the flow of it. Like I know I've got the date booked in. She's clearly sending me a lot of photos for some reason. Okay, so we're a few days away from the date now, um, but I still haven't done my step five date logistics, which is something that I just need to get in, just get booked in. So I'm starting uh, the texting in the morning, a few days before our due date and saying uh, good morning. And then she tells me that, oh, I'm not feeling well, uh, bad weather for me. Um, so yeah, potentially means the date isn't on if she's gonna be sick for the next few days. Uh, but yeah, don't react. Uh, so I just play it cool. I oh, know, sorry to hear. Take it easy and keep warm. So she writes back, yeah, no worries, I'm okay, but I need to rest and take medication. So yeah, just a bit of chit chat now. So I'm rolling off. I don't want to put too much pressure uh, onto securing this date um, as if it's a must. So yeah, so that, so we're just texting a bit back and forth in the morning. And then at the end of the day, I'm asking her, how are you feeling? And then she writes, uh, yeah, feeling better now. Hopefully I'll be completely fine by tomorrow. So that's good. Um, so then I leave it until the day before uh, the date and I'm asking her, how are you feeling? Um, she says, feeling better now, no itchy throat. So that's great. So it's a day before the date. She's feeling a lot better. So it looks like it's back on. Um, so I'm just sending her a photo. I'm on my way to the city. What a beautiful morning. Okay, so now I'm, I'm sending the specifics of the date logistics, which is the date, the time, and the place. So for tomorrow, can you do 2 p.m.? Uh, yes, where are we going? So I say, let's meet at my town that I live in, um, and I'll, I'll host you for dinner. Um, so what is our itinerary? So then meet at the wharf, walk to town, pick up a wine, and then go back to mine for dinner, sit on the balcony. And then she writes back, okay, sounds perfect, away from all the busy surroundings, see you then. And then, cool, okay. So that's it, so I've done step five, so I've confirmed the date, the time, uh, and the location, and that's the date booked in. Okay, so when to text a girl after the first date, wait until the following morning, or lunchtime the next day before sending your first message. And in terms of what to text, use the texting ladder and logically and naturally build your way up to that second date just like you did the first time but do it slightly differently so send a few picture messages if you didn't do that the first time use a little audio message um, just make make it a bit different rather than just the same old stuff and if you would like to boss your texting if you would like to get more dates with women and not get ghosted and not make a mess of your texting and then be sat there on the sofa thinking, crap, what did I do wrong? Then check out um, my texting book. I have it here. Texting women, phone number today, every time. Click the link below and grab your copy today. This has got my 10 years of experience of texting women, thousands of screenshots, hundreds of screenshots. <laughs> oh, so hundreds of screenshots. Um, it's got the texting ladder in it. And the best thing of all is it's got copy and paste zones. So I've got all of my best messages, best performing texts in the copy and paste zones. And all you need to do if you get the ebook is just copy the message, 
uh, from the bubble and just paste it into WhatsApp. So it's super easy. You can literally copy and paste your way up the texting ladder and book in dates with women that you really want to go out with. Um, it's also got chapters on how to be playful and flirtatious with the push-pull technique, how to do audio messages effectively, uh, broadcast lists, phone calls, um, yeah, so much. And also troubleshooting, Q&A. Um, so get your copy. And also um, there's now a support group. Uh, it's called the Texting Circle. And you can go and join that as well and um, talk to like-minded guys who have got this book and are trying to improve their texting. So if you like this video, then please do hit the like button. I'm interested in what you think. Have you struggled with getting a second date? Um, I used to, I used to never get text back. So yeah, interested in your thoughts. Tell me what you think. Um, maybe you're also struggling. Maybe you've got other questions about texting. Um, let me know, drop those comments down below and I could do another video for you on another topic. And if you enjoyed this video and some of the other videos, then subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell to stay up to date. But until another video, another time, somewhere in Sydney or London soon, I will see you soon.